All right, back to this breaking news we first brought to you out of the Georgetown neighborhood. That's where our Dan Griffin is. Dan, what's going on? Yeah, so the medical examiner's office has left. A lot of the crime tape is down now, and you can see northbound traffic into the city is moving along. Here's the orange car involved in the crash. I want to be able to kind of paint the picture for you because the medical examiner's office has taken the body away from the scene here. So essentially, from what we understand, SPD was called here to the scene of this crash on First Avenue South here between Lucille and Finley. It was about 5.30 this morning. We're told that when police arrived, Seattle fire crews were already here trying to help a woman who had been hit by this car. She was pronounced dead on the scene. So we're told that the man who was driving the car, a 64-year-old man, was driving southbound here on First Avenue South when he hit the woman. So it's not clear at this point is why that woman was in the road in the first place, where she was going. But what investigators found was that the man driving the vehicle apparently was showing signs of impairment. He has been arrested for vehicular homicide. So again, Back here live, you can see the southbound lanes here still appear to be blocked on 1st Avenue South as they continue to uh, get this car taken care of to get it towed away. Uh, and we will be here following this, trying to make sure that we can keep uh, you up to date on what's going on with traffic here. But again, 64-year-old man has been arrested here and a woman has been killed in this crash. For now, we're live here in Georgetown. Dan Griffin, Fox 13 News.